nice warm studio working on one of these gorgeous swans that we saw. It was absolutely fantastic down there. It was great. There were so many birds and they were so hungry and it was wonderful to get so close to them. It was just amazing and uh, very inspiring. So here I am back working on one of them and I can't wait to get it finished. I always work from very high quality photographs if I possibly can, but I must say it was lovely to get amongst the swans themselves and, and experience them from so close up. It was really inspiring. Because it's black and I'm doing a white bird, I have to put a background on behind the white that is very easy to to blend because white the white pastels don't blend well so I have to put a background in first and this pale grey is the easiest one to use to blend it as well as possible so I first blend in the grey and then I continue adding the white on top of that if you just put white directly onto black onto any sanded paper, it won't blend. Uh, but the black is particularly difficult to work with because it keeps shining through. But I love, I love working in pastels. I used to work with watercolor and with acrylic, but I love working with pastels because it's tactile and it's, it's, you get all smeared and, and you get all dirty and you, you can't have good fingernails or anything like that but it doesn't matter because it's really satisfying to work with. Right, well, I'm just finishing off here. Um, I still got a little way to go um, and in the meantime, uh, maybe you'd like to see some of the other things that I do. I hope you enjoy them. I hope that you enjoy seeing all my other friends. The last image that you saw was of my little dog, Samantha. She was a toy Pomeranian and she died over 30 years ago now. But I have her portrait on my wall and she looks at me every single day. So here's the finished article. And now there's only one thing left to do. beautiful friends.